Appreciate that. Yes. Okay. So I have a, a very special guest here with me today. Uh, you know, we hear this often, get more kids involved in science, technology, yes. yeah, engineering yeah. and mathematics or STEM, of course, as it's often referred to. Yeah. Uh, this woman, Frances Cujo Waters, uh, she's amazing. She's one of the many folks uh, here in this area uh, leading the charge when it comes to making sure students know all about STEM, getting uh, more students involved, especially yeah. African-American students. So first and foremost, thank you for being here. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, we we truly appreciate you. Um, so you have an organization that you're using to kind of help make sure that folks are aware of this. You're the CEO and the founder yes. of this organization. Uh, she has a long list of credentials, graduated from Stanford University, uh, also Harvard Law School. Um, and you just have a long list of things. So tell us about this organization that you sure. created. Well, basically um, on the 100th anniversary of the Harlem Renaissance, which mm -hmm. just passed, I really wanted to create something here in Dallas that would be remembered throughout time as a major place where we changed the history of, of Dallas. So I created the Dallas Renaissance. The Dallas Renaissance, the goal is to celebrate African-American culture mm -hmm. and to change the narrative. I think there's so many negative stories out there about what our children are doing, so many negative things about what our culture is doing, and we don't celebrate enough. Sure the wonderful things that we've done in our culture. So uh, we are very involved in the arts district. I've been involved for years, um, just served on different boards. And I think it's important to celebrate all cultures, but I realized there was a void here in Dallas and that no one was really focusing on the wonders and the amazing opportunities in African-American culture. So that was what it was founded to do. So we're founded there. We're collaborating with different cultural, educational, and other kinds of organizations, and then doing our own events, like this event that's coming up on January 25th. But the goal was really to celebrate African-American culture, to change the narrative mm -hmm. and to really make sure that people have a good sense of um, what our history and culture have been and that our children have a sense of all that they can become. I love all that. And even recently in one of your uh, TED Talks, the TED Talk wasn't recently, but yeah. a TED Talk that you did back in 2017, correct? Yes. Went, uh, uh, got a lot of views, one of the top 20 yeah. TED Talks, African-American women um, yeah. internationally. That's a big deal. Yeah. And you mentioned some of the arts and things along those I lines do. that we need to make sure that we're addressing in this yeah. area. So talk about the yeah. event, uh, the Dallas Renaissance that's coming up. Sure, so, um, so yeah, so, and that it was ironic it was two years ago this December, and I talked about arts and culture. At the time, I had just finished serving as the um, chair of the Confederate Monuments Task Force, and I was talking about the need for inclusivity. And so I've worked since then to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I really, my mantra has always been, be helpful or be quiet. Mm -hmm. So I want to be helpful. Yes. So coming up, our first event for the Dallas Renaissance will be this uh, January 25th. It will be um, all night long. We're taking over the museum. It's our night at the museum. It's a celebration of African-American excellence in STEM. We will have African-American STEM professionals in every gallery of the museum so that our kids can meet black doctors and, and scientists in aerospace, just every area that the Pearl covers. We're going to have African-Americans there because you need to see it yep. to know you can become it. I love it. And so oftentimes, especially in STEM, our kids think it's not for them. They don't know our rich history. The movie Hidden Figures came out years ago. People were shocked that the original mathematicians who were at NASA were these black women that computers that we use are named after them. But they were the computers. So I want them to see who they are. And I think that by doing that and bringing the whole family out, we can celebrate our heritage, enjoy this wonderful cultural resource of the Perot Museum, which is here for all of Dallas. Um, over half the people who registered have never been to the museum. So I'm bringing our whole community to Dallas. 25% of Dallas is African American. So if you're going to be a cultural institution here in Dallas, you've got to make sure that you don't overlook our community. So all it's right. going to be fun. We'll have music, food, fun, and all these wonderful black STEM professionals. I appreciate it. Francis Cujo Waters, thank you so much for yeah. being here again that event January 25th at the Perot Museum, just in case you're wondering why we showed you that video there. All right, so we'll 